So for problem 2.3, part C, we've, we've actually already found the exact answers by using the equation. And so as you look at part C, the idea is that we can really check our answer by putting the amount that we found back into the equation. So we said for $8.50 it was 40 minutes. And that should work out if we actually put it in the calculator and find out those numbers. 40 times 0.15 plus the 250 should equal this amount. So let's go ahead and just check that on our calculator and make sure that that actually works. So if we go 0.15 times 40, there's your 40 minutes, that's what you pay for the time, which is the $6 plus the $2.50 then yes, it does equal the $8.50 that it should equal. You can always check those answers in there. And so as we move on to part D for this problem, the third question, which was she can use the canoes for 50 minutes if she has $10, but really she can use the canoes for 50 minutes or less with $10. There's a whole bunch of possibilities. 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 31 minutes, all kinds of different times. And so we can actually express this problem if you have $10 as what's called an inequality. In other words, the 0.15 cents per minute plus the $2.50 can be anything less than or equal to the $10 that she has. And so the representation using this symbol less than or equal to says that with $10, there's a whole bunch of possible times that would be able to use for $10 or at the most $10. I don't have to spend all $10, but if I have $10, I know that there's a certain amount of time that I can spend. It's at most 50 minutes, but it can be anything less than that. So if we look at the table or the graph or the equation, all of these different ways we can find the time and the way would we would express that as a inequality is that we know that the time in this case if you look at the graph or you look at the equation if we go back to the graph again for ten dollars it's anything less. All of these are possibilities. Everything on this line is less than $10. And so all these different times from 50 minutes on are true. So the way I would express that as an inequality is to say that the time is less than or equal to 50 minutes. So there's your inequality. Again, the time for t and then this symbol less than or equal to 50 minutes. So time could be 49 minutes or 42 minutes or 10 minutes or even zero minutes. All of those are true values for less than or equal to 50 minutes.